so welcome to my computer. Um, what we want to do right now is we want to update the schematic of Fritzing, a Fritzing schematic for a part that we've created. So in a different video, video we went over how to create a PCB outline for an odd numbered or odd sized SMD part. And so here we are in the schematic. So there's lots of tutorials online about how to do this and in my mind they're all a little bit more complicated than they have to be. Uh, so Fritzing uses a couple specific font styles, so you need to download these fonts and um, they're OCR and OCR Droid and so once we do that what we can simply do is update the uh, the fonts, we can update the text to the fonts uh, in an SVG or a vector scalar, scalable vector graphic program. So in a parts editor we're going to edit new parts editor this is an already saved part. We're going to go to our schematic, we're going to go to File, Show in Folder, and this will find us the schematic view of our part. So I'm going to copy this, go up to my Fritzing Parts, SVG, User, Schematic. These are all the schematic parts that I've saved before. And we're going to paste this right here we're going to rename YouTube to I've already done this just so we can find it later and so now if I open this with a do with a notepad plus plus we can take a quick look look at it we notice that this is what the image itself is actually made up of and what we want to do is you want to change some of the text so here we look at a font family droid sans it's got its fill, its font size, its anchor, its start, its label, 12, its stroke. Um, and so this is all the information stored in it. And you can edit it in this text document. It's just a little bit harder to follow. So what we're going to do, we're going to close out of that. And we're going to open it up in Inkscape. We're going to look at it with the XML editor, and XML is a machine code. So come up to Edit, XML Editor, and scroll in so we know what we're looking at. And this is all out to how you want to do it. But I prefer to leave the 1 through 12 on the outside, and I just want to edit these 1 through 12 on the inside. You can do this in Fritzing, but it doesn't save to your components currently. So what we can do is we can click on the if we can find it. Here we go. And so as we click through these, we can find the one that changes what we want. So here's label zero. And so all we have to do is update label zero. So if I expand label zero, I see a one. If I come over here, let's say that this is ground. And then I can come down to label two. I can expand it, come to two. Let's say this is, uh, let's, let's call it five volts. And then let's say that this chip is something where on number pin 4 we have an output. And the rest I want to leave the same. So this is all we need to do. We can go File, Save As. Make sure you save it as a plain Ink SVG or Inkscape will save peripherals to it that Fritzing doesn't like. Hit Save. Replace. Yes. We'll exit out of that. Close without saving, otherwise it'll save it as an Inkscape SVG. And so now that we have view fits window. So now that we have a part created, all we need to do is load it in, and we're going to go File, Load Image from View, um, Date Modified, QFN YouTube two 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 two. Open. And now we have it with ground five volt three and out and the pins are automatically updated and so we can go ahead and file and save okay save shrink out of that and here we'll see that it's updated on our schematic and if we fit to window sorry about my computer um, if we drag in, let's drag in a transistor or a temperature sensor, I guess. 
and click and drag. Maybe this one's ground. This one's five volts. And if we go over to the PCB, we can notice that we have a functioning part with updated schematic views. Thank you very much. I um, hope that's helpful.